Well, several women who have publicly accused President Trump of sexual misconduct in the past are speaking out once again. As correspondent Nikki Batiste explains, the women hope to have their voices heard in the wake of the Me Too movement. Three women face the cameras to talk about their encounters with Donald Trump. Mr. Trump repeatedly kissed my cheeks and ultimately my lips in an encounter that has since impacted my life. Rachel well, Crooks was a receptionist at Trump Tower when she met the future president 12 years ago. Samantha Holvey was a beauty contestant with dreams of becoming Miss USA. These dreams never included a man lining us all up to look us over like we were pieces of meat. The women who spoke here were just three of the 16 accusers. They've told their stories before, but now they're calling on Congress to open an investigation into the now president's behavior. What is your hope in speaking out again as a group of women? I guess our hope is that this issue does not get swept under the rug and we go on from here. Jessica Leeds sat next to Mr. Trump on an airplane more than 30 years ago. It's when he put his hand, started to put his hand up my skirt. I managed to wrestle myself out of the seat and stood up, grabbed my purse, and went to the back of the airplane. Hours before the news conference began, the White House released a statement saying the women's claims were addressed during the campaign. The people of this country had a decisive uh, election, supported President Trump, and we feel like these allegations have been answered through that process. The women say the environment has changed since then, and it's time to see the president held accountable. Nikki Batiste for CBS3 Eyewitness News.